You know, one, one of the biggest problems with conservatives, not just nowadays, but it, it really is manifested very much nowadays, is that they're conservative. That's the problem. problem with being conservative is that you're trying to conserve the republic. People imagine that, you know, they look, they, they, it's like many men, you know, you, you meet a woman and then shit goes bad and you're like, yeah, but she was this, 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 you know, in the beginning. And the problem is that for many conservatives is that they're in love with an America that doesn't exist. The concept of America, of freedom and of the Republic, it doesn't exist and it hasn't existed for so long. And so, so often this is this is typically what gets many conservatives is that they're like there's a plan, whether it's, you know, Q or Trump or all the, you know, Mike the Pillow guy and all these different people, you know, you got what's her name? Um you know, the chick, the, the, the lawyer that she's like, you know, they're like, release the Kraken. And none of that shit panned out. And the reason being is because for many conservatives, many conservatives trusted the plan. And they imagined that these people on the right or the, that are quote unquote on the right, these, the Republican Party is with them. And they're completely not. There are very few, if any, actual political Republicans. And it's hard to be a conservative Republican in a socialist state, it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work because the people will always vote for more money. You've seen Joe Biden talk about how we need to give our kids free education, free pre preschool. We need an extra two years, free community college. And it's like, where does all this shit come from? What is all this free that you are referring to and people are like yeah it's a fantastic idea free education free health care free retirement you should give us free housing i don't want to go to work because i'm going to catch a cold give me give me free money and it's like how do you exist as a conservative republican in a system where everybody just wants shit for free like it just doesn't happen who's gonna vote for you who's gonna vote for the guy that says you know what we need to cut spending we need to cut medicare we need to cut all these free programs they're gonna look at you like oh, i ain't voting for that guy and this is the problem is that many people exist within this system and this has been happening for decades this is you know this is by no means you know, something that has happened recently with the past couple of elections since 2007 to 2008. This has been going on for lifetimes in America. And it's just coming to a fruition. People don't understand why is it that Joe Biden is acting like a dictator and all these rules are all of a sudden popping up in the West. And it's just because you can't have socialism forever. Eventually, socialism turns into communism towards the tail end when the when the society is about to collapse and socialist states they revert to communism and then it reverts to starvation and this is where america is at and so instead of people being you know we're going to fight for the republic we're going to go out there we're going to protest it's not going to work it doesn't work you have a huge portion of the country that are just socialists i mean there's so many people so many businesses that just benefit from the status quo it's just not going to have look at, look at hospitals you have all these hospitals putting up mandates who's going to be the one that's going to be like you know what we're going to we're going to hold our ground and then what lose all the medicare and medicaid funding lose all the funding from private insurance like it's just it's just not going to happen and what are you going to do with all these people who are in debt to the government who have school debt you know educational debt they got credit card debt they got housing debt what are they going to do? See, if you're not part of the system, then you can just be like, fuck it, I'm out. You can just you can just be like, you know, I'm a dip. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to start a whole other life over here. And y'all can enjoy the collapse over there. And I'm just going to go someplace else. But for the, for the vast majority of Americans, especially when the government just starts. I mean, shit, the government don't care about the money. Look at what they did in Afghanistan. They left behind millions or billions of dollars worth of weapons. They left behind a hoard of cash, a whole bunch of military it don't mean anything because they just print this shit in the back in the back room. You got Powell in the back just typing away zeros into the American debt. Who is going to stand up and say the party has to stop, right? These people are drunk on all this excess cash in the system. And the only thing that they can worry about is the people at the tippity top. 
that these people need to pay their fair share. And the vast majority of Americans are like, yeah, that's a good idea. We need to take from them. And it's like, this is just theft. What Biden and the whole left is just advocating for is theft. They're saying, you've got a lot of money. We're going to take some of your money and we're going to give it to people over here. And it's like, this is socialism. Socialism always leads to communism. Because at the end of the party, you just have the inevitable collapse. And that's why everybody's got to take the That's why everybody's got to take the vaccine. We need you on the vaccine. We need you on the vaccine passport. Y'all going to live in little cubicles. We're going to feed you bugs. I mean, there's so many articles talking about, I don't know if I still have them up. There's so many articles that I come across lately. I think this is one of them talking about, hey, but we're going to start feeding you bugs. And this is, they don't talk about this stuff for nothing. The, the, the edible insects coming to a supermarket near you, right, from the BBC. And it's because at the end of the day, right, when you look at Venezuela, when Venezuela collapsed, I mean, pick whatever country that went the route of socialism that eventually turned into communism, what happened? The starvation, right? So that's why they kind of put these ideas into your head. It's because this is the, <laughs> this is, the, the end of the story, right? It's like you're reading a book and like you want to see that happy ending. Well, this is the happy ending for America. It's communism. It's communism. It's living in cubicles. It's socialist. It's a surveillance state. It's police state. I mean, look at Canada. Look at, look at Australia. Look at Europe. Look at the UK. Look at all these different countries. We got one COVID case. We got shut it all down. Like what? That just don't even make sense because it has nothing to do with the disease. It has everything to do with this is the tail end of an economic collapse of an entire society. And so all this shit doesn't just completely collapse in on the elites because the elites know what happens at the end of the day is the French Revolution. That's what happens. When this whole shit collapses and people are like, wait, where's where's my welfare? Where's my social security check? What do you mean that there's no money? Well, they're going to come for them. And they know that. And this is their plan the great reset this is the plan we're going to feed y'all bugs you're going to live in a cubicle that house that you own you're not going to own it you won't own anything but you'll be happy at least that's what they tell you because they're going to own everything and they're going to control everything and this is what you are watching this is the outcome of socialism a lot of people just like just don't understand i see so many articles like this and it's just like it's so weird you see i mean the amount of food shortage articles are astounding talking about the amount of people that are starving has increased by you know the tens of millions of people and americans are sitting here with a 80 percent overweight and a 40 percent obesity rate talking about we we want our fair share and it's just like what but this is what happens i mean when you look at the grand scheme of things you look at the whole planet i'm not just talking about just america in terms of these people at the tippity top need to pay their fair share americans consume more than many countries combined i mean just in oil alone america consumes 20 percent of all of the oil in the whole globe it's like how is that your fair share for a country of only 330 million and so this is the route. The shortages is just to get you used to the shortages. The, the increase in prices is just is just to get you used. That's what they can't just flip the script and be like, all right, your standard of living just fell 30 percent. They got to ease y'all into it because they know at the end of the day what will happen. Look at Australia. They're like rioting against the police out there right? because the police are out there shooting the people who are protesting with pepper bullets and rubber bullets. And they know that if you push the people too hard and the people realize the party's over, they're like, I ain't got shit to live for. And they're like, it's just balls to the walls and people just start dying. And this is what many of these global elites, especially here in the Western countries, this is what they're trying to stem. There's shortages everywhere. And a lot of people are just completely asleep at the wheel, not realizing what's going on. They think, oh, it's the pandemic. And it's like, I ain't got shit to do with the pandemic. <laughs> They ain't got nothing to do with the pandemic. This is the this is the inevitability of it. I mean, just do a little research, do a little a little googling on food shortages, on product shortages, on chip shortages, etc. I mean, take a look at what's happening in China with that huge three hundred billion dollar company Evergrande that is basically going to default, and it will ripple through multiple economies. I mean, 
what do you think is going to happen at the end of the day? And at the end of the day, to keep to keep shit together, to keep it from going back into the dark ages where you just get war bands and shit just completely divulges into chaos, they're like, we need to get everybody on board. Everybody, everybody's got to take it. Everybody's got to be, we're going we're to watch all y'all. And it just turns right into upper class and everybody else. And this is where we're at. This is where we're at. And it's like, even if you're on the right and you're like, we're going to stage a revolution, what are you going to do about all the Americans? It's, it's not just the political class that you need to do away with. There's a, just millions of people that are just socialists. And at the end of the day, that's what it will revolve. If you were to completely remove the upper crust and you've got just right wing military, you've got left wing military. What do you have? You have civil war and millions of people die. Millions of people starve. The whole, the whole supply chain completely goes to shit. And that happens in multiple countries. Once it happens in one country, it just ripples. It's just a domino effect because other people will see what's going on and they get that shit in their in their head. That's why you don't see none of these uh, protests on on uh, TV of what's going on in Europe or in in France, in the UK, in Australia. You don't see any of these riotings where the people are pushing back against the police because they don't want you to get that shit in your head. But this is this is where we're at. This is basically where we're at. I'm interested to see how it all ends, but I want to see it. I want to see it from afar. I don't want to. I don't want a front row seat of the end.